this is some of the most pettiest shit I've ever fucking seen. Sony, what the hell is your deal right now? Bro, I get it. Come on now, man. I was refraining from talking about the Blizzard Activision deal with Microsoft for the longest time now. Because I was like, all right, this ain't nothing. At this point, I've been saying this a lot. And this is becoming some petty ass shit. Like, come on now, Jim Ryan. What you got to lose, my guy? Listen. You're trying your damnedest to stop this fucking deal from going through. Like, what the fuck is up? Like, seriously. If we got an article coming from Video Games Chronicle, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about this extensively. Because back when I heard about it, I was like, oh my God, big move, big power move by Xbox. Yes. And it was then it was originally about Call of Duty. Fine. That's okay. But now we got this dumbass motherfucker doing his damnedest to stop this thing from going through. I motherfucker, I get it, Jim Ryan. I get it. He's trying to he's trying to say they're not doing well with well, they, they need something. You know, let, let's forget my views on it. Let's see what this article has to say on the Video Games Chronicle. Let's see what they gotta say, man. Cause though this is getting out of hand. Sony claims Xbox Activision deal could hurt developers and lead to price rises. Hmm. Get on that in a minute. Places says it's confident that the UK regulator will seek to block the acquisition. He's confident because he got his hands in there. You already know Jim Ryan does. That's what Jim Ryan do. Sony Interactive Entertainment SIE has claimed it's confident that the UK's competition to Marcus Authority CMA will seek to prohibit Microsoft's proposed acquisition of Activision Blizzard. The UK regulator recently expanded its investigation into 68.7 billion deal due to the number of antitrust concerns which was outlined in a statement published by in mid-october we've already I, you guys have seen it i've been talking about because i didn't think it was very you know i didn't i didn't care at the time notably it's it was worried about the impact the deal could have on places the ability to compete given the merger will see microsoft gain ownership of call of duty series again like i said a long time ago in a random videos sony doesn't need call of duty it don't you guys are the market holders you guys are the best you guys have the developers develop a new fucking game but they don't want to do it because they don't have to they're, they're getting your money regardless they're getting jim ryan's getting your fucking golden goose call of duty is your golden fucking goose but you got genshin but now you want call of duty as well you're trying to lock it down as I remember back, he didn't want to take four years, and they've already said Call of Duty staying on PlayStation. They would lose money if it didn't stay on PlayStation. They would lose fucking money. But we, we're sitting here dealing with this rigmarole. Like, what, what is this, Jim? What are you doing, Jim? It goes deeper than that. In a newly published response to the CMA statement, Sony has expressed confidence that the regulator will conclude that the merger is likely to result in a substantial lessening of competition and should therefore be blocked. Accolades trailer. <laughs> Accolades trailer. We see Call of Duty, man. It's doing its numbers. It's fine. It's doing good. The platform holder claims that Microsoft, if Microsoft were given the sole control of Activision content, independent developers would all be harmed and Microsoft could increase prices for games. Why the hell would they increase prices if they're putting shit on a loss? Dude, that don't make no sense to me, dog. That don't, that don't make no sense to me, bro. You lost me, Jim. You fucking lost me, Jim. And I was on, look. I play PlayStation games, but you fucking lost me, man. There's two fucking ways you can deal with this. There's two fucking ways, and we'll get into that later. SIE is confident that CMA's phase, oh, well, claim is so control that harm and increase prices for games, hardware, and subscriptions. SIE is confident that the CMA's phase to acquire will confirm that the transaction is likely to substantial, less than competition should be prohibited, it said. Hmm. Sony goes on to argue that Call of Duty is irreplaceable and that Microsoft's ownership of it would tip the balance of power so heavily is flavor that ultimately PlayStation might be unable to compete. Listen, even without Call of Duty, Sony's doing fine. Let's keep it a buck. Sony's doing fucking fine. They are. People play, they vote, but, but then again, you're, you're fucking... Look, Jim, 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 listen to me, Jim. Now nah, we're going full screen for this. Jim, Jimbo, Jim Ryan, 
Big Boy Jim, Hotline Bling Jim, listen to me. Sony is doing fine in sales. Talk about compete. You want to compete in the multiplayer space because you know fucking what? You don't have any multiplayer games. You didn't invest in multiplayer games. You wanted to keep call the call of money. That's what Call of Duty is. Call of money. Like, come on, man. I get it, man. It, it money moves the world. I get it. But saying you can't compete without Call of Duty is fucking nonsense. That's nonsense. You got God of War, the one of the best games right. You know, I haven't finished one of the best games out right now. You got Spider Man. You got the single player games unlocked. People are coming to Sony to play single player games. Let's always say Sony single player, Xbox multiplayer, Nintendo for everybody. That's how it always is. But you don't need Call of Duty. You got the just you you know what you're doing. I get it. But this is nonsense. Don't say don't don't why you, why you acting like punks. Why you acting weak? Why you acting weak, Sony? Like come on now, man. Like I don't, and I don't even defend Sony like that or Xbox. Well, I defend Xbox sometimes. I get, I get the, I, I know they were even Sony's like Sony got it on lock. It seems like without Call of Duty, you guys can't do anything. That's what it's coming out as. That's what's coming across, man. You gotta, you gotta nip that shit in the bud, my guy. R tone it back, tone it back, dig, dig deep because or is your last thing you know, or is there something going on behind the scenes that we don't know about? You never know. Cause Jim Ryan, your track record right now is looking kind of poor, looking kind of shitty. Like the games are doing good, the developers are, but your track record, I don't know, man. Like it is what it is, Jim. Like I'm talking like I know you, I don't know you, man. I'm just some dude on YouTube. You know what I mean? But let's get back to the article. Microsoft's world, Microsoft will control irreplaceable content that drives user engagement. It wrote, helps transaction. Microsoft would control Activision content, which drives redacted times. Ooh, I don't know what they said. As much user engagement as PlayStation than all SIE. Best performing first party tiles put together. Get the fuck out of here. I don't believe that whatsoever. Call of Duty is better engagement than anything than freaking Spider-Man, Bloodborne, fucking all your first part, Ratchet and Clank. That's, you only focus on one thing. You put your eggs in one basket. You should not put your eggs in one basket, my guy. I don't even come talk about Sony because I believe you guys are the best. You guys are good at what you do, yes. I got Xbox stuff back here because this is my favorite developer. Developers, developers, developers. That's my favorite developer. Individual games. So I love Bethesda and stuff like that. That's them. But Sony, I don't talk about you like because I know you guys got it. You don't need my advice to, to prop you up. You guys got it. You got the money. Tr Hell, listen. Look, y'all got my money. Y'all got it. Look. I got the fucking, I got the collectors. Y'all got my money. Like, well, what do you? What else do you want? You don't need that. You don't need God. Like, what, 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 what? This is ridiculous, man. I may not even finish this article. Let's go back to it, though. Let's go back to it. This is a, a rank. You got my money. You have it. This, this shouldn't stop you. More people aren't playing Call of Duty, just come up with something else. I said it like it's an easy thing to do. Because you know what? It is an easy thing to do. What happened to SOCOM? What happened to SOCOM? What happened to a new shooter? Because you know you can't com compete without Call of Duty? Call of Duty can go just, I, just think. I haven't played Call of Duty since 2019. 2019, and then I bought the new one. Because the other games were trash. It wasn't for me. I didn't play Warzone like that. You know why? Because you guys have such a, de I'm gonna say deterrent, you guys are such a detriment in having these freaking beliefs that you can't compete without Call of Duty. Because you know why? Because you guys are marketed towards streamers. Tim the Tapman, Dr. Disrespect, Shroud, Nadia. Like, come on, man. You, you, come on, I had to throw a little jab in there. Nadia, man, you know she cheese. Come on, hey, come on now. Yeah, 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 you guys know. But uh, that's besides the point. Your player base is like it's night and day for other things. If you without Call of Duty, you have nothing. Because you know some people only play 
multiplayer games for PlayStation. That's just how it is. But let's get back. This is a long rant. I'm just gonna, I don't know, man. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this. I may have to cut some of this out. What is this? While Microsoft recently claimed it had offered Sony deal that would keep the Call of Duty series on PlayStation for a decade, Sony argues that post-transaction, Microsoft would have the ability to and incentive to exclude or restrict rivals, including PlayStation and PlayStation Plus, from having access to Call of Duty. That's, that's if they bought it. Like, come on now, it's not a monopoly. They gave you, listen, if they get it, they give you ample time. A decade, come on, 10 years? 10 years is enough time. Unless you have no faith in yourself. Like, come on, man. You don't need it. Like, I don't even... You're just being dumb at this point, bro. You're just being dumb. Like, come on. This is this is so this is so stupid. Like, I shouldn't even have to talk about this. And, and I'm just a regular old dude. I'm a regular old average Joe YouTuber. That's it. Regular. And some people tell me, oh, you gotta talk about this. Right. Right. You gotta talk about this, man. You know what I mean? You gotta talk about this. Dude, I don't want to talk about this. Because you're seeing a company crumble to the fact that they know without Call of Duty, they're nothing. PlayStation ain't Call of Duty. When you think of Sony, you don't think Call of Duty. You don't. You, you don't. Like, come on now. You don't need... It's not even in your fucking logo. You don't. Like, come on. You don't think of Call of Duty when you think of Sony? Fuck no. You just want to keep it. Like, come on. Like, no. And, and, and for some of y'all saying, oh, he's only doing it because he's an Xbox guy. Listen to me. Let's go back to full screen. Listen to me, guy. Listen to me, people. Listen to me. I play everything. I play everything. Anything but PC. You know, I, I, got, a, I got an all right rig for PC, but, you know, I, I don't have the funds like that. You know, I'm, I'm just going to keep it a buck. I don't have the funds like that to get a high, high good to be. But let's keep it a buck. I like Bethesda games because they mean something to me specifically as a, one of the best times of my life ever xbox Be some of the best times ever especially with Bethesda games that's me i shouldn't have to defend xbox even then again i seldom do i seldom do you know i was like hey whatever whatever works for me is fine with games like that whatever works for me is fine we don't even need to talk about that but but still i got playstation shit over there i got playstation shit everywhere like come on now I believe in Sony. You don't need Call of Duty. Because just think, there's there's ways for Xbox. Xbox has money. You want to compete with that? Fine. That, that's okay. You guys have the backlash. I don't care what you do. I have everything. I'm going to play you the games regardless if it interests me. Because that's how people should be. You know? But any other freaking direction that you want to go in, all right, deal with the backlash. You know, this is a long, this is a rant rant. Like, I don't like this is one thing people know me from making anime content and so seldom game content i don't like coming up on here doing a lot of rants unless it means something to me like this all right i'm gonna cut this short because you know some of these things some of these bullet points will probably make a part two or something but this is getting ridiculous on sony's part you guys are seeming weak you guys seem like punks like for real i'm saying i'm calling i'm calling everybody out this 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 look, let's go back to a little back and forth thing because i'm just ranting at this point i'll come up with a part two when more information comes out as far as i know look because this is a long list people this is long well so what i think Sony should do let's go back to full screen i know I, i'm going around like this i'm gonna barely edit some of this shit out this is gonna take a long time to upload and i know i'm cussing that's just how i talk to people at this point you guys give me rock with me i rock with you okay fine but uh sony you don't need call of duty you guys have to you have i dead ips that you know that's so far gone that you can build up you have other ways to get that call of duty green like hell go call the on place people are gonna go to pc because you know some people just get sony playstation because they get the exclusive rights the early access and stuff to play your games which is fine we, we all like that shit i'll play the beta i won't i won't play it on playstation i can tell you that now i won't i never did i played the beta stuff on playstation yeah i won't buy call of duty on playstation because it's only single player for me and see that's probably why they're doing that too for people like me they know people like me 
don't play multiplayer games on PlayStation. I don't. Never have. It's not, it's not, you know, you guys have to fix your lobby system. It's trash to me. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Garbage. Party chat, garbage. You won't get that 360 era chat and when people rolling around talking bad about people, you know, it's just still fucked up. It's still fucked up. Like, you know, it still has its issues. We're not gonna, we're not gonna deny that it. it still has its issues. But ultimately what I'm getting at is this deal, it should go through. Cause what they think is, oh, it locks Sony out of IPs. That's that's perfectly you know, Microsoft uses their, their wallet to do things. I get it, you know. It's kind of strong arm, and this is kind of strong arm as well. But if it goes through, if it actually goes through, it would force Sony to do more. And there's some people that think Sony is holding back. Now, honestly, I think Sony is holding back. Because you've heard rumors everywhere. I, well, I, I can't say everybody. I've heard rumors everywhere through the grapevine. Some stuff I can verify and some stuff I can't verify. You know, I I say I have sources. I don't really don't have sources. But I pay attention a lot. You know what I mean? I pay attention to a lot of stuff. But ultimately, what I'm trying to get at is Sony doesn't need this deal at all. Sony can thrive without it. They need... They're, unless they have another multiplayer that can compete with Call of Duty. They haven't tried to compete without Call of Duty, basically. Seems like to me they're running the tail between the legs, but that's just me. This is just a another Rayquaza rant. Double R's. You know what I'm talking about? Rated R, double R. But uh yeah guys, tell me what you guys think. I highly doubt you guys will stick to the rest of this video. I'll cut some of this stuff up into shorts or something, because this is getting ridiculous, man. Jim Ryan, you out your mind, bruh. Like I'm not even gonna mm -mm. Let's just say, I don't know if this is going to be good or bad situation for Microsoft, but otherwise this whole deal thing ain't, getting, ain't looking good for nobody at this point. It's making you both look like fools.